Carry on. I got a fight to prove my love. Let, let no, me finish Max, this. You, Max. What, stop, just stop. What are Max telling me? What? Stop it, Max. Stop it. What, Max? What are you talking about? Calm down. Hold Wait. that L. Hold that L. He better knock him down. He's a professional. Bro, put some respect Go on down. that man's name. We lost our mind debating with you. Yeah, you lost all right. They want all this but. smoke. Carry on. Tell them why you're mad. Uh, yes, it is time for a new segment. Carry on. Max and Stephen A., here's the deal. Listen up. Big Perk's got something he wants to say. He's got to get it off his chest. And you cannot interrupt him until he finishes. Go for it. Uh, that's Big right. Perk, what's, what's on up, your mind? Molly? Hey, hey. That's right, that's right Molly. You tell yeah. Stephen A. and Max to keep a cool booty while I address this situation, all right? And look. I know y'all rolling with the Brooklyn Nets to come come out of the Eastern Conference, and I picked the Philadelphia 76ers, Doc Rivers, Sam Cassell. I love you guys. But I'm going with the Milwaukee Bucks. I'm going with the Milwaukee Bucks. I'm going with Greek Freak, uh, Chris Middleton, and Drew Holiday. Yes, I am. They have everything that they need to win the East. They have depth. They have shooting. They have rim protection and Brook Lopez. And by the way, they're not going to get bullied. They have some Rough Riders and Bobby Porters and P.J. Tucker. I have the Milwaukee Bucks coming out of the Eastern Conference. Carry the hell on. <laughs> uh, that is a scorching hot take. Max, what do you have to say about that? Um, I uh, appreciate your point, Perk. I like the fact that Budenholzer's obviously been seeing what people have been saying. Got, you know, swept when he had 60 wins in Atlanta, swept Well, he didn't have a superstar. Then he got a superstar, not much better in the postseason. So they lo- used a lot of the early part of this season to get better and get better and try new things to be ready for the playoffs. And I hear you, you know, like Drew Holiday's a big addition. He's a big game player. They don't have enough. They don't have enough. The bottom line is to win a championship with a big like Giannis, and he's a big dressed up as a wing sometimes, You need another dude as good as him. Shaq didn't win any with Penny. He needed a prime Kobe and a prime Wade. Kareem didn't win any without Magic or Oscar Robertson. Bigs need other dudes, at least one other dude, who's a crime partner on his level. And I love me some Drew Holiday. And Chris Middleton's a good player. But those guys are not enough to offset KD, James Harden, and Kyrie Irving. That's a big three. Although Milwaukee remind, uh, is their 22nd ranked defense, their number one offensively, I will say that Kendrick Perkins is closer to right than wrong. I'm still going with the Brooklyn Nets, but I consider the Milwaukee Bucks the number one threat to the Brooklyn Nets in the Eastern Conference. I really, really do, because I think that their size, what they bring to the table in terms of their athleticism, and now how they've elevated their defensive prowess on the perimeter is something that we can't ignore. Max Kellerman, your argument, I will remind you that just a few weeks ago, you were making a big deal about how Giannis Antetokounmpo, the Greek freak, blocked Kevin Durant's jump shot on the perimeter. Mm-hmm. How many people could do that? Yeah, That's great. what you kept saying. That's what you kept saying. That's what you said. I'm just saying. All I said. How many can? I didn't ask you to speak. I'm talking to you. I'm talking <laughs> to you. I didn't ask, you to, didn't ask you to listen. I'm saying to you, you brought that up because you were trying to make the point that the Greek freak could do things almost no one else could do. Mm-hmm. So then when I take that into consideration and I think about the acquisition of a Drew Holiday, Middleton still being there and P.J. Tucker there. I'm thinking about how they're to, how they vastly improved as a perimeter defensive yeah. team. And so when I take that into consideration, along with their size, athleticism, ability in the open court, et cetera, I can't ignore that combined with the pressure that's amped up and what they've experienced over the last two years, that this could very well be their time. I still don't believe that it's enough to overcome the offensive prowess of the Brooklyn Nets. But if there is one team that can knock them off in the Eastern Conference, I believe the number one threat to the Brooklyn Nets right now is the Milwaukee Bucks. The Sixers. Give me, like, if you want me to pick one, I'll take the Sixers. Perk, what are they going to do with James Harden? Like, Drew Holiday is an excellent defender against smaller guards. You see what Kevin Porter Jr. did to him the other night? Like, how long ago was that now? A week or two ago? 
in eight minutes of their matchup, seven for 11, dropped 20 points on him, finished with 50. Like, you know, what's he going to do with James Harden? You cannot stop this Nets team. They got three dudes who can get their shot, their own shot, or shot at historically great levels, who hit from everywhere at historically great levels. I'm not even talking about Joe Harris, who's the fourth option, who's a deadly three-point shooter. There's just nothing you can do. What are you going to do to stop the Nets? Well, well, Max, first of all, that lets me further know again that you haven't been watching the game of basketball to sit up here and say some baloney about Drew Holiday only could guard smaller guards. Drew Holiday has the strength of a seven-footer. He's not afraid to battle anyone. And by the way, the last time I watched Drew Holiday play the uh, the Brooklyn Nets, he was on Kyrie Irving heels like a pair of socks, okay? And then look, listen, let me tell you. Well, defensively, welcome. defensively, I know they rank at the bottom, but we already know that this team could amp up. They have great rim protection in Giannis and Brooke Lopez. P.J. Tucker gets, cause KD, you know, a little trouble. No one can stop Kevin Durant, but at least he makes it tough on him. Offensively, they have everything around them. They have shooting. Pat Connaughton, right? They have Byron Forbes. They have guys that can stretch the floor, and I love it now because you can move P.J. Tucker to the four spot, put Giannis at the five, and you tell me how can you stop a pick and roll with Drew Holiday and Giannis or Chris Middleton and Giannis. And then, you know what's the best part about the, the Milwaukee Bucks? They got the Miami Heat first round. And this is going to help them. Why? Because Eric Spolcher is going to throw everything in the book at Giannis. He's going to see different coverages. And once they beat the Miami Heat, they're going to come out of that series with a lot of confidence because we all know that the Brooklyn Nets are not going to play the same level of defense that the Miami Heat are going to bring to the table. Drew Holiday is a type of dude that lets you get by the Miami Heat. If they needed something to get by a team like the Heat, they got the right guy. I don't want to reduce it to this, but sometimes it's this simple. Name the top four players, or the top three players even, on the Milwaukee Bucks, and then name them, just name them, on the Brooklyn Nets. It's a mismatch at the top. Those are the dudes who are going to absorb the most minutes, run the most plays, score the most points, and that team is going to win. It's the history of the NBA. You have to remember, remember Max. Go ahead, have, Stephen. I'm you sorry. You have to remember something, Max. In the postseason last year, one of the things that, that just typified the greatness of Eric Spolster, you know, obviously, even though it's allowed, you really don't use utilize zones. It's really man-to-man, and that's what you throw at teams. And, you know, man up. You know, you might double double somebody from a, on occasion, those kind of things. In Steph Curry's case, triple-team him for crying out loud, quadruple-team him. But usually, this is what you do. You man up. Eric Spolster threw a zone at Milwaukee last year. Completely dis- discombobulated them. Milwaukee, if they overcome Miami in that first round, you're talking about their confidence elevating and things are going to, because we all know, we don't expect Brooklyn to be a problem defensively. It's that they outscore everybody else, Mm -hmm. not that they're going to stop anybody. So if you're Milwaukee and you've got confidence in your ability to put points on the board, and now you don't have to rely on your shot, what you have to rely on is your own defense, you never know what that could turn into. Six-game series, maybe. Again, well, maybe they get to right. six. I'll wrap this up by saying this. Big Perk has the Bucks in the finals. Carry on. Yeah. Coming off the ankle sprain and having to battle Steph in the play-in tournament, would this be the toughest title run of LeBron's illustrious career? We'll ask our guys and Chris Bosh back to debate that next. Perk, good stuff. Talk to you soon. It's too dark in here. I need to get out. Just calm down. I can't calm down. The walls are closing in. I'm freaking out. Ugh, relax, yellow. Just take a deep breath. <sighs> Let's not do that again. At last, M&M's Mix. Remember when driving was fun? It was an act of freedom, an inspiration. 